Hi, I'm Don. Uh, this is my uh, high pressure aeroponic system. Um, I, uh, I've been doing this for just a little while here. Um, I, it took me a while to, to figure it out to um, try to learn from what people had done online and um, and it was there's not a lot of information out there about high pressure aeroponics so I thought I would make um, just a quick overview until I can make a more detailed DIY video but high pressure aeroponics is um, is the uh, the idea is to, to pressurize water so that when you send it through a mist head the uh, mist is really fine like a 40 micron um, uh, particle a real small particle cloud that the uh, that the roots on the inside are taking up they um, they can um, they can absorb it more readily and then you give them time to kind of dry almost so they're in the air and then you spray them again so that's the general you know idea of uh, high pressure aeroponics uh, NASA um, kind of developed the uh, it, it for space uh, uh, plant growing and um, and that and and there's some great places online that that are doing stuff and they they don't necessarily uh, show us you know the components and the parts so let me show you some of the components and the parts here okay so here we go we got the reservoir sending out water to this skimmer filter that protects the pump from getting too much junk or small particles in it that it can't handle and preserves the life of the pump we're using this aquatic 8800 pump this is controlling the pressure in the system it tells the pump when to turn on and when to turn off and we're keeping pressurized water in the system by using this actuator tank so we put the actuator tank in line we're also we also have a pressure release valve that I'll show you in a sec but we put the actuator tank in line and the switch will keep the pump running until this tank gets to the pressure we want it to be at so once the system gets up to like 120 psi right now it shuts off and once it drops to about 95 it turns back on and brings it to 120 so that's how the pressure is controlled right now by this switch and it has an adjuster you buy it factory preset i got this one at 80 it was seems to be a little more stable than the one that was at 40 and then i adjusted up so this one comes at 80 i adjusted it up so that's how we hold a high pressure so that the mist heads can always miss that fine mist by having the high pressure what tells them when to spray and how long to spray is this this is a little timer that is connected to this solenoid switch the timer is set for about 15 seconds of spray time on and maybe five minutes of spray time off right now that's what i'm trying this physically lets the water flow to the spray heads so that's going out before that i did did say i had this um pressure release valve hooked up so this is going to protect the expansion tank handle 150 pounds of pressure so this is about a i think 140 um it will uh it will release so that this will never get to 150. so that's our safety net and then let me just hit the reset on this so that the head starts spraying and then we're going out come into the spray heads and these are the barrels they have uh, they're 57 gallon um, food grade plastic barrels I have them um, plug drains on here I got an issue on this one but they're all coming back to the to there I do I do have one um, 
one more of these before the first spray head one more of the uh, skimmer filter and I'm gonna eventually put put them on each one just to lighten the load but I, I think I should be good I've only been cleaning it once a week as it is I know this isn't a very clean setup and uh, and that but I am gonna tighten it up and uh, make it a little prettier okay let me show you some of my parts so I've been using these John Guest um, fittings. Um, John Guest fittings, anybody that's not into um, uh, plumbing uh, wouldn't know. I wouldn't think. I didn't know anything about them. Um, they almost work like one of those Chinese uh, finger puzzles. When you're a kid, you put your fingers in, and the more you pull away, you can't get it off. You have to resist. You know, you have to kind of push in to slide it out. Um so that's that's how these what these things make me think of. You you push it in, and it will not come out when you're pulling away. But if you hold the edge of the fitting, it slides right out, so that this piece doesn't pull. And um, these have been excellent. I love them. So um, I'm using those. I got you got T's. Uh, I got a 90 um, straight throughs. Um, so I've been using those. These bulkheads are, um, are what you use in between, um, the, uh, the, like, caps when you're entering or leaving the, um, the barrels. So, um, this, uh, the barrel would be in between. You screw it in tight, and then, um, and then I, I put a little caulk, uh, if I need it. Um, I'm gonna start putting these on the bottom in the these on the bottom in the center and uh, exiting that way I think all you need are these uh, quarter inch because you're only spraying I'm only spraying like every five minutes for um, 15 seconds so you're not putting a lot of water into the tanks and um, so you don't need a big a large volume to return it and you'll save a lot of money using the smaller size than um i originally used half inch and there's no need for it and i had problems um putting this on the side with um this one's leaking um the other ones i haven't had any real issue with but still there's no there's no real reason to to use the half inch it's overkill um so i'm using these john guest fittings i'm using this quarter inch um hose the black tubing the black tubing and this um, this bubble uh, uh, insulation, reflective insulation. The reason behind that is we want to keep the light out of the barrels, out of the out of any place where the water is. So um, I actually used some clear half inch um, tubing initially, and I immediately got algae growth. This I have not had any algae growth with using all black um the here's one of those uh the skimmer um barrels let me open it up here so you can see the, the skimmer filter this is beautiful it's a reusable filter so you can just rinse this off um uh, you can see the last time I, I just swapped it out i didn't rinse it off yet so you can just take it out under a hose or the sink and rinse it off pop it pop it back in close it up and put it right back in line really nice this mist head um, it comes apart in case there's clogging you can in case there's clogging you can clean it out um, sorry if I'm not doing great camera work here but I didn't have a tripod um, I used this instead of the soft metal stuff to hold down the, um, the accumulator tank. You know, it stretched a little bit, and then I redid it, and it's been good since. Um, I'm using, I used 2-inch PVC. I'm using these 2-inch neck cups with, uh, the neck collars. Um, they're nice because they very easily, um, uh, you can adjust, pull pull a piece off, they, and um, make them bigger or smaller as you need them. I um 
I drilled holes in in the barrels um, and then I cut these at 45 screwed them on used some food grade um, uh, caulk that I was able to find to uh, make sure I didn't have any leaks um, that's worked really well it was way cheaper than using the um, 45 or the 90 degree elbows that fit in there nice and tight and the o-ring which some places are using and that's great if you can afford it um, it just adds a lot of money to each barrel I have uh, I have about 40 holes in each barrel I started them off about seven inches from the bottom and I got them separated seven inches and I also am using the same seven inch from from uh, column to column so this one starts off to stagger them starts off at ten and a half up the half of seven right um, three three and a half added to seven gets you to ten and a half and then same thing every four or four on each column uh, it goes around there's there's ten so I got forty the very last columns a little bit bigger it's like maybe eight inches but um but that worked pretty well um, I think that's the general gist of it that would get you going and at least get you an idea of how to how to do it and um, and give you uh, the names and the parts of, of what I got you may be able to source better things you may come up with some much better ideas uh, let me know and uh, I may try them because I'm I'm building um I built this this greenhouse and uh, I have room for uh, for more so I'm gonna I'm building five more right now to fill this thing up so that's how I'm doing the uh, the video or the DIY video I'm trying to do but good luck